Welcome back to Learn SQL on Code Academy. We're in the manipulation section. This is lesson two, relational databases. It says manipulation, relational databases. Select star from celebs. Nice work. In one line of code, you returned information from a relational database. We'll take a look at what this code means soon. For now, let's focus on what relational databases are and how they are organized. 1. A relational database is a database that organizes information into one or more tables. Here, the relational database contains one table. A table is a collection of data organized into rows and columns. Tables are sometimes referred to as relations. Here, the table is celebs. A column is a set of data values of a particular type. Here, ID, name, and age are each columns. A row is a single record in a table. The first row in the celebs table has an ID of 1, a name of Justin Bieber, an age of 22. All data stored in a relational database is of a certain data type. Some of the most common data types are integer, positive or negative whole number, text, which is the text string, date, which is the date format it is, year, month, and date for the year, month, and day, and real, a decimal value. Instructions. Now that you have an understanding of what relational databases are, let's take a closer look at SQL syntax. Click Next to continue. So before clicking Next, we just will go over the major things in here, which are data types. So data stored in our database will always be of certain data type. The most common, like it says here, integer, text, date, and real. So just to reiterate what I said in the first lesson, we got our two keywords, select and from, and we specify a table, and then we want to specify what from that table we want to select. In this statement, the star tells us to grab everything. And again, we'll learn more on the upcoming lessons, but that is it for lesson two, relational databases. I'll see you guys on the following lessons.